Welcome back to the RPG Maker MV Tutorial Series Level 2. Last time we looked at characters and classes, this time we're going to explore magic and skills. Let's make a game! So here we are back in RPG Maker MV, I'll click on our database, and if we recall our actor are basically members of the party, and so these are people that you can play with. Our hero is a swordsman, swordsman class has skill type special by default. They do not have magic, but sorcerers do have magic. So let's have a look at the magic skills and see what kind, well, at the skills and see what kinds of skills are employable by magic and special skills. So here we can see the enemy has skills, basic magic skills, Swordsman and Warrior attacks, Priest and Sorcerer type spells, Knight skills, Bandit skills, Martial Artist, and Hunter skills. Just a quick note while we're here, uh, if your data set point shot shows skill type none, just change that to special, otherwise you won't be able to call it during a battle. So, now we fix that up, let's just go and have a quick look at these skills. So as you can see, most of the skills are in the new data set, uh, uh, attack types, or there's some kind of buff type of spells. So they might do things like um, increasing an ally's attack, increasing an ally's defense, uh, or they might do things like healing, recovery, etc. Fairly typical kind of skills uh, in terms of magic and also in terms of um, say swordsman attacks, you might have things like slash, dual attack, um, etc. So how do you learn these skills? Well, that would come under classes and as you can see each class has its own experience curve. Okay, The experience curve is set up via a relatively complex equation. You can simplify this as you like or, or adjust it. We won't go into that just now. But as you level up, you can automatically assign new skills. So when you go to level 2, for example, the swordsman will learn a strong attack. At level 5, they'll learn a slash. Uh, for a sorcerer, at level 1, they'll start off with fire. Level 3, they'll get sleep, etc, etc. So let's just go and have a look at this in action. Why don't we just set up a simple scenario in our forest where we might, we might for example, start off with a new enemy. If you recall from level 1 we created some enemies. Let's set up some bats and to enable that we'll click on battle processing, we'll find bats, click OK. After the bats are done we'll make this disappear by controlling a self-switch. Set up a new event page, self-switch A. OK, so let's just test out what our default character's skills look, skill sets look like without any experience. You can see he's got a simple attack, he's got no specials, they can guard, and no items. So basically nothing. OK, so let's add a little experience boost and see what happens. New, press enter, change experience, entire party, let's add 500. Show the level up. OK. Press play, yes. OK, so we've learnt some attacks, fight, Special. Now we can do a strong attack. Etc. I can add some more characters to the party. Starting party. System, so database system. And let's add trees. We can have four characters. Marsha, 
and Lucius. Okay. We'll bump the XP a little bit, give it an image. So uh, just adjust this one. We'll change it to 5,000. Excellent. We hit play. So, all up, significant levels. You can see their levels have changed slightly because each of them has a slightly different learning curve. And now we can see that when we do fight, we've got several different options. And we can see the effect of the buff here. Etc. Now there's another way that you can learn skills, and that is, for example, you could have an NPC give you a skill. Let's imagine the fairy in the woods type scenario who teaches you something new. So she might say, here is a new skill. Give her a picture, why not? There you go. Then we can change skill. So we can choose which skill and who learns it. So let's say, for example, we wanted to give um, a blizzard spell, really high level blizzard spell, to our mage, click OK, click OK. OK, so if we test that now we can see our mage, Masha, can learn a new skill. Skill, Masha, she has blizzard. She can't use it because she's not in combat, but if we go into combat, we can see that Masha has magic skill, Blizzard, and she can now use that. And there it goes. She's learned a significantly high powered spell. So, what happens if we give a skill? that is a special base skill. So for example, let's choose Windmill. Okay. Let's press play. We go speak. We check our skills. We can see our hero's got Windmill, but for example, Marsha does not because she does not have the special skills. She only has magic skills. A hero has special, but cannot cast it, because it needs 20 TP, and when you start the battle you have a random allocation of TP, it's only 17. You can think of TP as kind of like action points, or adrenaline points, rage points. Um, so there's not enough adrenaline in their system to get, going, get this going just yet, so they'll have to just attack, and after attacking they should then build up some more TP. And you can see that our hero's TP has increased. The bats are attacking. So now, if our hero goes to the special, they can now do the special attack. Teri still does not have enough TP, so she can only do something else. Marsha doesn't have special skills, so she can't do Windmill, but she could do Blizzard, for example. And there's Windmill. Hits both those bats. For a small amount of damage. There's another way we can give a skill, and that is through items. So, for example, we could create a quick event, 
treasure and is that a weapon? Let's give a wooden staff. Uh, let's give a, a dragon staff. Why not? Now if we take a look at the dragon staff we can see that it doesn't actually give you any skills at the moment but we can fix that. Double click here. We can click add skill type magic okay we can also add skill and let's give some kind of a cool fiery skill flame 3 excellent we'll apply that now our hero is a swordsman and swordsmen can't use staves we could add a staff equip option in here and we call it cane I'm just going to fix that up because it bugs me every time let's change system type cane to staff fantastic now I feel much better <laughs> so we could have our swordsman class could use staffs or our hero specifically and only can use staffs there we go We'll click OK. Now our hero can pick up staves and use them as well as our as our mage. Let's see what the effect of that is. So we'll go here. We found a staff. We'll go to equip and uh, Marsha can equip the dragon staff or. Our hero can equip the dragon staff now because we've been given them the ability to do that. When we go into combat and we fight, our hero now has magic and they can use flame 3 if they had enough magic points. So because they don't have enough magic points, we can't use it. We could fix that little blip by giving our dragon staff also the ability to add a whole bunch of magic. So we go to parameter for example, max MP, change that to say 500% and then when we pick up the staff we'll get an increase of 500%. We want to make sure that let's just equip the staff automatically so we don't have to do it. We can change equipment from here our hero, weapon equipment, equipment type and we'll set the dragon staff key and then we'll add in a recovery function here so that we can recover all of our magic points let's see how that plays out so we've found our dragon staff, it's been equipped automatically gained a whole bunch of level ups and our hero's magic points are now at max if we go to fight we can now use flame taken priority but there's flame 3. Fantastic so we've seen different ways to apply skills and learn skills. Alright well I'm just going to put everything back the way it was as this is just an example but feel free to play around with skills, classes, items etc so that you can see all of the different ways that you can use these um, different aspects of the game uh, to make it customize it and make it your own. We'll see you in the next one. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider smashing those like and subscribe buttons as they do help with the algorithm. Now it's your turn to go make a game. See you in the next one.